Setting up a page setup in your layout tab is just as easy as setting up a page setup in the model tab. Now what I've done here, I've set up some scale areas for each of our views. They're all at one to one. I haven't scaled them in any which way. But what I've done there is that allows me to create viewports very quickly in the page setup that I'm going to set up. So I click on the A3 landscape tab here. Now that has already got a preset A3 border set up, which is exactly what we need. So the next step is I'm going to rename the tab. So I'm going to right click here and rename the tab. It's going to be A3 landscape, like so. Notice as soon as I right click, it's like hitting return. So right click, rename, and then type, and then right click. It's going to be an A3 dash plate details, and then in brackets, landscape, like so. And then press enter or right click. So now I need my plate details to come from the model tab onto this particular tab. Now before I do that though, I need my page setup hooked up first. So it's a right click on the tab, page setup manager again, like before. Notice all I've got is A3 landscape. Now, what I'm going to do here is rename that. So it's a right click, rename. Click at the end so you don't lose the A3 landscape bit. I go back a little bit like so, so it's A3 plate details, like so, and then underscore landscape, like that. I press enter, you can see that updates here. Can you see A3 plate details landscape in brackets? Notice because I've got brackets here, it could be confusing. So I'll just close that for a second. I'll right click here and rename that. And what I'll do there is I'll go back with my back arrow on the keyboard. I'm going to lose those brackets because that could be confusing. So if I underscore that instead and lose the brackets, when I right click now and go into Page Setup Manager, much easier to see, isn't it? You can see the A3 Plate Details Landscape tab, A3 Plate Details Landscape Page Setup. So that's now applied. Now, I'm going to go in here and modify that existing A3 landscape. So I select it, modify it. We're going to plot it to a PDF instead. So I'll go up a little bit here. Where's a PDF? I've got my Primo PDF software that I use. I tend to use that for documents though. AutoCAD has a DWG to PDF PC3 file. So we're plotting it to a PDF. I still want an ISO full bleed A3. I want extents and I want to center the plot, like so. I'm going to change it to monochrome. I want it black and white to save on ink. Scale, one to one. I'll OK that. It's telling me that the page setup I've just edited is referenced by a layout. Yes, it's that layout we've just renamed, so I'll say yes to that. That's all applied, so I close it. Now what I need to do is set up my viewport areas on my page. Now they're here on the View tab on the ribbon. So I click Viewport Scale Area, and it asks me for the first point. It's a right click, I select Border, it takes me into Model. So I select my Plan View, click there, and there's my Plan View. I OK that. Now I'm not going to bore you with the other borders there, but that's what you do, and you then drop them in. They're all then set up for your A3 landscape plot. Now there's nothing to stop you creating lots of other tabs, layout tabs, with lots of other different page setups for different sheet sizes, different plotters, PDF, DWF, and so on.